looking for a place where local politics is really complicated, then look no further than Belgium. Here we are, outside the Belgian Parliament. Well, I say Belgian Parliament, I mean Federal Parliament. Because in a country with a population roughly the size of London and its suburbs, there are plenty of parliaments. What, you mean there's more than one? But well, that's impossible. Yeah. Actually, there are seven. Seven? Yeah, come, I'll show you around. First stop, well, this is the federated French-speaking community parliament. Not much more to say about that. Let's move on. Welcome to the Flemish parliament. Thank you. One Thank of you. the parliaments of Brussels. That's rather handy. When there is one parliament less, we still have the other ones. But there's a price that we have to pay. That means a lot of institutions, a lot of structures and a lot of parliaments and costing a lot of money because you have, you have a lot of members of parliament. But here in Brussels, everybody works for an administration or in a pub. OK, so it's time to leave Brussels because we're talking devolution and there are two parliaments in Belgium that aren't in this city. So about 45 minutes from Brussels down the motorway, this is Namur, capital of Wallonia, nice castle behind me. And over here, behind this rather undistinguished blue scaffolding, is the Parliament of Wallonia. I'd love to stop, but there's no time. I've got other parliaments to see. So, no rest for the wicked, because we're heading down towards the German border, because Belgium's German-speaking community has actually got a parliament and a government of its own. And here we are in the town of Erpen. This if you like, is the capital city of Belgium's tiny German-speaking community. And this rather splendid new building over here is the German-speaking community's parliament. Let's hope that it too is open. 25 members directly elected by the population here and they meet once a month for the plenary sessions and they come every week for commission meetings. And a parliament for less than 100,000 people? Absolutely. It's not even 1% of the population of Belgium, but we are speaking German and that's why we have an own parliament, an own community. And back in the big city, here we are at the parliament of the Brussels capital region. Nice building. And finally, just down the road, parliament number seven, the European parliament. Not strictly Belgian, I know, but it's in Brussels, so it's on the list. And what's the overall expert opinion on the Belgian system? The system is really complex. Very few people know uh, how it works. Even politicians sometimes are a bit lost, whether they are in charge of the economy or education and where they have to, uh, to, 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 to go, parliament, government. Um, so for the citizen, it's a chaotic, complex uh, system, really uh, difficult to understand. They're a bit lost, but overall it, it works. Well, here we are back where it all began at the National Parliament. But the funny thing about a country with so many parliaments is that four months after the last general election, it still doesn't have a government. Well, it doesn't have a national government. Of course, it has a Walloon government, a Brussels government, a Flemish government. Nope, stick with me. It's got a German community government. It's got a French community government. And that, ladies and gentlemen, don't go away, is devolution. <laughs> 